What up though, y'all? It's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me. Downtown at the Riverwalk, 10,000 steps. It's Sunday. Lions about to be playing. They're going to be hosting Matthew Stafford and the Rams this evening. So, you know, that's why I got that's why I got that that gear on today. But let's get into the topic at hand. I think I just saw a grasshopper. You see all types of bugs and stuff around here. But we're going to talk about uh, women realizing slowly but surely uh, that men don't care about their degrees and, uh, you know, the, the amount of money they make, you know, these, these sorts of things. It's, it's taking them a minute to catch up. But I think they are starting to realize this. So one of the one of the key mistakes that uh, women make is that they think, and it's not all. So let me let me let me let me let me remix that. It's not all. It's, it's a, a certain type of woman. The things that they care about when it comes to looking for a man, they assume that men care about those same things and we don't our dating strategies are totally different what we're looking for in a significant other are totally different so what women are looking for in a man women are looking for a provider and that's why how much money you know uh, a man makes and what degrees and stuff he has that's why they care about things like that because oftentimes degrees you know, not in all cases, but in many cases, a degree, uh, it reflects earning potential, you know, so that all that is part of the whole looking for a provider thing, you know, it, it fits into the provision aspect, but men don't care about that. We're not looking for a provider. We don't care that you're making 150 K a year. We don't care that you have all these different pieces of paper framed, hanging on the wall. They got little letters behind your name to make you feel important. We don't care nothing about that. You know, that's that reflects your future earning potential, sure. But that, that just doesn't matter to us because ultimately that stuff does not make us lunches for work. It doesn't, you know, um, tuck our kids in at night. You know, nothing, nothing about that really brings value to a man that's why we don't care about these things and i seen a lady that was kind of having a moment she was sitting in her she was sitting in her car and she was talking for a good 20 minutes just having a self-reflect moment about how she realized that men really care about you being pretty taking care of your looks and that men couldn't care less about any of these other things she like she thinks she's funny and all this sort of stuff again that's something that we just don't care about i mean if you ask a man what his ideal woman is none of them are gonna say she has to be able to make me laugh you know none of them are gonna say that think about it when when is when does that ever matter to a, a, a guy you know there's that there's that uh bad b over there but i can't mess with her man she she don't make me laugh you know it's just not really something that men have ever deemed to be a quality of whether they're going to be a, a wife or just a, a woman that they want to take seriously you know you know ks god rest his soul you know he he summed it up he summed it up pretty pretty well actually he said fit feminine and friendly and I mean, is is like corny as that may sound, you know, like at first hearing, if you think about it, he's he's not wrong. You know, you want a woman that takes care of her body. So, yes, fit, feminine. Of course, you want a feminine woman. You don't want a masculine woman because uh, you as a guy, you're masculine. So you're not looking for traits, uh, you know, that are within yourself. In a woman you know so the whole uh feminine thing i the ladies nowadays they really struggle with that one like that's that's like something they just like fight it's like it's like their bane 
Now, they they hear feminine and it is triggering to them. This is how bad they want to fight against it. How they want to be masculine so bad now that simply saying you want a woman to be feminine is just very upsetting. They get emotional, want to argue with you. Well, you know, and they try to they try to equate being feminine. They try to spin it in some negative way, like being feminine and cooperative is somehow uh, slavery. I mean, this is absurd. This is this is the links they go to. I see a chair. I'm gonna slide over here to it and sit down and talk to y'all some more. But when you, when you describe to them the things that you like about women, they are so resistant to it, and they try their best to frame these things as being negative. Why do you have to try to frame the things the man finds to be, you know, desirable as somehow a bad thing? You know, we listen to women with all their standards every day and we don't really give a whole lot of pushback. We may say it sounds unreasonable considering the quality of woman that you are. You're a average and in many cases below average woman and you're talking about you want the same top shelf man that every woman desires and you think you really deserve him and you're not going to settle we may think it's unreasonable but for the most part you know we just let you be you you have your preferences but let a man say his preferences he wants a fit woman that's submissive that's cooperative that will get on board with his program they try so hard to equate this to you being you know a misogynist it's that word is thrown around so much nowadays. But it was just, it was very interesting listening to this uh, this young woman. She looked like she was like in, you know, perhaps her her mid, mid 30s. And she was an attractive sister. You know, she says she goes to the gym regularly. You know, she takes care of herself. And she started kicking game about some stuff her grandma told her. Now she probably wishes that she would have listened to her grandma years ago. She said her grandma is like 94 or something like that. Her grandma, takes care of herself always has she said her mom her grandma gets hit on by men when they're out and about and that cracked me up because if you out and about with your 94 year old grandma and your grandma's getting the attention not you sis man that is a serious problem because you may be an attractive sister but you might be giving off energy that's not very friendly not very inviting and that's why the men they talk to your grandma. Your grandma knows how to be feminine, okay? Your grandma mastered it a long time ago. Your grandma knows how to be approachable. Your grandma is, you know, like, she knows how to wield femininity as a weapon. She knows how to get whatever the heck she wants out of man by simply being feminine. And, uh, uh, you know, here you are seeing this in real time and you're amazed by it, but you ain't taking no notes. You ain't taking no notes by the fact that your grandma, when your grandma was your age, your grandma could have got whatever the hell she wanted out of your grandfather. She knew exactly how to do it. She knew how to butter your grandfather up, you know, especially if you had a, a grandfather like mine that was cheap. You know, my granddaddy was cheap. He didn't want to spend no money. But his wife, you know, uh, my grandma Pearl, she knew how to get what she wanted out of him. You know, she knew that she would make the meal he likes. She, you know, draw a bath for him, you know, maybe uh, uh, give him, you know, the, the foot treatment. He really ain't like that stuff, but she would like encourage him to do it anyway. You know, women like that know how to get what they want. They know how to speak in a, you know, low tone to kind of like suggest you do this even if you a hard-hearted man like my granddaddy was she still could get whatever she wanted out of him because that is how powerful femininity is so it was it was interesting let me get back to walking but it was very interesting listening to sis now she started to get a little bitter during the dur during her little self-reflect talking about you know men are so shallow uh, you know it's sickening how how shallow men are and uh, you know men we are shallow but so are women in fact most would say that women are more shallow because who has the longer checklist of what they want men or women you know so you can say oh he got the jams playing out here 
So you could say, yeah, men are shallow, and I'm not going to disagree with that. Men are shallow, but I would say that men are, despite being shallow, men are far less shallow than women are because when you look at the checklist of things that men want from a woman and you look at the checklist of things that women want from a man, the checklist that women wants is crazy long compared to what men want. So that was just like, you know, you're just frustrated that you're not getting what you want. You know, you're frustrated, you're having an emotional reaction because what you're saying, it, it doesn't make sense. It's illogical. You know, um, let me see, what else does she say about this? She's going on about her grandma, take care of yourself. You know, she was really like suggesting that women take care of themselves. You know, she's done that. She was saying to a certain extent that she didn't understand why why men wanted her, but then she's kind of like figuring it out. And even though she was an attractive sister, she kind of had a bit of what they call a, a resting bitch face. You know, um, I don't know if she could do anything about that. I don't think women typically have that, just are born with it or whatever. I think that's something that they develop over time, kind of being just hard. You know, they're trying to climb the corporate ladder. They're trying to get them degrees. And so they, they take on typically masculine traits, becoming more stoic, more disagreeable, all those sorts of things that, you know, they may serve you well when you're trying to climb the corporate ladder or chase the bag, but they're not going to attract any men. And above all, I'll say this and then I'll, I'll leave you guys. If a man is interested in the degrees that a woman has or the money that she earns chances are he is looking to use her like for real if he is interested in those things because a guy with his own stuff doesn't care that does nothing for him you talking about your accolades how many pieces of paper you didn't earned how much student loan you didn't you didn't rack up because that's what we hear you know, you racked up a bunch of student loan debt. You know, to you, these are great accomplishments that you are bragging about. To us, if he's looking to marry you, these are student loans that he's going to have to pay back. So talking about that stuff, it doesn't do anything for us. And if it is a guy who is excited by that, is interested in that, he is impressed by the fact that you're earning 150K, that guy is not a guy that you want. That's a guy that's looking to use you because he doesn't have anything on his own. He's looking to use you for your resources. And that's not the type of dude that you want anyway. I'ma leave it there now. Still gonna keep doing these steps on the river walk. Hit me with them comments. Let me know what y'all think. Appreciate y'all connecting with me while I do these steps. Detroit versus LA tonight. Hopefully we win. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll let y'all soon, peace.